Welcome to Techie Tricks AI. Today, we'll dive into GPT-40, the revolutionary AI model from OpenAI that's redefining the future. We'll explore its capabilities, see some impressive demos, and understand why everyone is talking about it. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci, come risolviamo le equazioni lineari? <laughs> Sicuramente, sì. <laughs> Certainly, yes. Great, <laughs> looks like it works. <laughs> <laughs> OpenAI's mission is to make advanced AI tools available to as many people as possible. Every week, over a hundred million people use ChatGPT. Now, with GPT-40, ChatGPT-free users will have access to a host of new features. But the big news today is that we are launching our new flagship model, and we are calling it GPT-40. The special thing about GPT-40 is that it brings GPT-4-level intelligence to everyone, including our free users. GPT-40 is OpenAI's latest flagship model. It's a multimodal AI that can handle text, audio, and images in real time. But what makes this model so special? So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. Work... So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? Okay, I'm going to try to subtract 1 from both sides and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. Now, what do you get when you subtract one from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side and it looks like three x equal three. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure, can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x and you want to find the value of x. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication. Because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3 and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? It looks perfect. You've solved it, and x equals 1. Nicely done. How do you feel about solving linear equations now? GPT-40 can respond to audio inputs in just 232 milliseconds, providing an almost instant conversational experience. Plus, it's 50% cheaper and twice as fast as previous models. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback? On my breaths. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Whoa, slow. <laughs> go a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in <laughs> for a count of four. Okay, uh, let me try again. So I'm gonna breathe in deeply and then breathe and then out. 
for four and then exhale slowly. Okay, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. <sighs> That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. <laughs> so Mark, you've been working on these capabilities for a while now. Can you tell us a bit how it's different from voice mode? Right, so if you've used our voice mode experience before, you'll notice a couple key differences. First, you know, you can now interrupt the model. You don't have to wait for it to finish your turn before you can start speaking, and you know, you can just butt in whenever you want. Second, the model is real-time responsiveness. So that means that you don't have this awkward two to three second lag before you wait for the model to give a response. And finally, the model picks up on emotion, right? When I was breathing super hard there, it could tell and it knew, hey, you might want to calm down a little bit. You're kind of running a little bit too fast. So, you know, it really has that capability across the board to perceive your emotion. The applications of GPT-4.0 are vast. From coding assistance to real-time translation, GPT-4.0 is already revolutionizing many sectors. App, like Mira was talking about before. Okay, and to give a bit of background on what's going on, so here we have um, a computer and on the screen we have some code, and then the ChatGPT voice app is on the right. So ChatGPT will be able to hear me, but it can't see anything on the screen. So I'm gonna highlight the code, command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT. And then I'm gonna talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with a coding problem today. Of course, I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? Okay, I'm gonna share with you some code. One second. Sure thing, take your time. Okay, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Awesome, thanks so much. And in the code, there's this function foo. Can you describe to me what the plot would look like if I had versus didn't have this function? Sure. The function foo x y takes in a data frame x containing temperature data and a window size y for calculating the rolling mean. It smooths the average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature columns by applying a rolling mean over the specified window. With the foo function, the plot would show smoother temperature lines because the rolling mean reduces the noise or fluctuations in the data. Awesome. This makes... Thanks so much. So yeah, I definitely will want to apply this function. And so I'm going to uh, generate the plot and then show it to you. Give me one second. Absolutely. Take your time. I'm excited to see the plot when you're ready. Yeah. So, so far, ChatGPT has only been able to see the code. And now I'm going to run it and then I'll use the vision capabilities of the ChatGPT desktop app so it can actually see everything going on on the screen as well. Okay, ChatGPT, I'm sharing with you the plot now. I'm wondering if you can give me a really brief one sentence overview of what you see. The plot displays smoothed average, minimum, and maximum temperatures throughout 2018, with a notable annotation marking a big rainfall event in late September. Fantastic. I have another question for you. Um, which months do you see the hottest temperatures, and roughly what temperatures do those correspond to? The hottest temperatures occur around July and August. The maximum temperature during these months is roughly between 25 degrees and 30 degrees, 77 degrees Fahrenheit to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. What's going on with the y-axis? Is this in Celsius or Fahrenheit? The y-axis is in Celsius. The temperatures are labeled accordingly, such as average temperature, minimum temperature, and maximum temperature. Yeah. So as we can see, you know, not only can ChatGPT help me solve very easy linear um, algebra equations that I need help with, it can also interact with, you know, code bases and see the outputs of plots and everything like this going on on a computer. With GPT-40, OpenAI has made powerful AI tools accessible to everyone, offering advanced tools for both free and paid users. This model promises to transform not just computer interaction, but many aspects of our daily lives. One of the most inspiring applications is how GPT-40 
is enhancing accessibility for visually impaired users. Is the king in residence at the moment? Yes, it looks like the king is in residence right now. The royal standard flag is flying above Buckingham Palace, which is the signal that the monarch is present. How exciting to be there while the king is home. Try and tell me exactly what they're doing right now, please. Um, right now the ducks are gently gliding across the water. They're moving in a fairly relaxed manner, not in a hurry. Occasionally, one of them will dip its head under the water, probably looking for food, and then pop back up. I even know when a taxi is coming with its orange light on. I think I'll hail it to get home. Yes, I spotted one just now. It's heading your way on the left side of the road. Get ready to wave it down. Great job hailing that taxi. It looks like you're all set to go. That's a good dog right there, leading the way into the taxi. Safe travels. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest tech trends. And in the comments, let us know what you think about GPT-40.